Hey everybody, welcome back to another Digital Making at Home bonus features video. This is the second bonus features video for the Catch the Dots project as part of our Make It Move theme. So if you haven't done the basic project on that one, the Catch the Dots, head back across to rpf.io slash home and finish that first video, the one with me and Zach in it. Get to a stable, playable point in your game and then you can come back here and add the extra bit we're going to do now. So what we're going to do in this video is add a high score to your game. And the way we do that is you have a score that's counted every time you play, but what we want to do is make a high score. So we check your current score now and see if it's higher than the score you got last time. If it is, we're going to change that high score to be the score that you got now. It's pretty easy to do, and we're going to make a custom block in this video, which are the nice bright pink ones. So if you haven't done that before, watch in, that's really cool. Um, it's something that we don't get to do very often in Scratch, but it's a really nice way to make something that you want to happen every single time the same way. We just make our own little script that we define as a pink block that we can plug in anywhere we want. So I'm going to duck across to my Scratch project now. And you can see here that I'm selected into my backdrop, which is where I like to put most of my universal code, the thing that affects all of the game. Uh, and you've got my controller, my three sprites here, live scores, and you can see the speed. So I'll switch off the speed for my game because that was in our previous bonus features video. So what I want to do first is I need to make a block. So I'm going to click on my blocks and you'll see I've got this button here that says make a block. So I'll click that now and I can call my block whatever I would like. So in here I'm going to call that one check high score. Okay, so that's going to be my check high score block, which I can plug into my script wherever I want. And you'll see that I get given this new pink block here, which is to define what I mean by check high score. So it's all well and good to have a block that says check high score, but if there's no definition of what that means, Scratch won't know what to do every time. So I'm going to define that check high score block. And the way I'm going to do that is I want it to check my score against my current high score. And if this one is lower than my real score, I want it to take my score and replace my high score with it. So I'm going to go to my control block. So I need an if, right? Because the first thing I said in my sentence is if my score is more than my high score, then change my high score. So if my high score is more than, so I get my greater than, and I go back to my variables, and I need to make one now for my high score. And you see I've got it there, so I've got score and high score. So if my score is more than my high score, okay, and high score is currently zero, so whatever I get in my first game will be more than the high score, then I want it to change my high score to, or no, not change by, I want it to set my high score, sorry, set my high score to whatever my current score is. So that's my definition of my block there, it's nice and easy. I want to then take my custom block, check high score, and pop it in once I run out of lives. So once my game is over, I want it to check my high score and then change high score if it has to. So let's see if I can do that. So first thing I want it to do, I've oh, got my high score set to two already because I must have clicked my block. So let's start it off. So my score is zero, so I need to get better than two in order to change my high score. Okay, so I've got three as a high score. Let's see if I can do any better. Now I'm going to lose on purpose. You see my game getting faster with the other video that we had. Lost a life, I'm going to lose a life again. Okay, and you see here, it just changed my high score to six. So it checked my score. My score was six, which was more than my previous high score of two. And so it changed my score. So my high score is now six. That's it everyone, that's the really simple one. I really love playing with custom blocks in Scratch. So if you finished your game and you'd like to show us something cool about it, submit it to us at rpf.io slash home. Keep coming on, watching the videos every week, and we love to see what you make everybody. So just because we're not all in the same place doesn't mean we can't get together and make awesome stuff. So I'll see you later guys. Uh, keep making wicked stuff on Scratch, and uh, keep digital making at home. Catch you later.